Hello. We're not playing WoW today. What? What? This is this is, this is the gaming channel. What do you mean we're not playing WoW? Are we, are we just are we are we playing Minecraft? Nope. What? Are we playing Star Wars: The Old Republic? Nope. Guild Wars. Must be Guild Wars. No. No. What Terraria? No. No. It must be Dishonored then. I disagree. I disagree. What? What, the... I di what? What? what are we doing then? We we have blessed your ears with the sultry sounds of our bless of our holy tones. You bless but to bless you with the only Christmas roundup of 2012. Have we not? Ah! Yay! Right. So, should we start with our favourite moments of 2012? Our favourite moments. Okie dokie. What was How your about... favourite moment then, Michael? Oh, right. My favourite moment happens to be in a certain MMO. Where there happen to be rewards where a certain owl may be acquired. The more deft of you may, may have spotted I'm talking about Guild Wars 2. Yeah, right here. What's this? Well, do you know in Guild Wars 2 you get like the little like things, like the tonics that could like turn you into animals? Yeah? Yeah. The day I found that, the ones that turn you into like an, a white owl, my mind just exploded with glee and just pure happiness. I'm, I'm frantically googling this to find this. W oh, what, what is it? It's an owl tonic. Yeah, mm. I'll, I'll, I'll Google this as well. Guild Wars 2, Owl Tonic. Owl Tonic. Guild Wars 2 Wiki. Gwutwa. Yeah, it turns you into an owl. See, so it turns you into Mr. Kipling. Wow. That's awesome. Best thing ever. Oh, and he looks like him as well. Exactly. That's, that's, that's amazing. It is amazing. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah. I absolutely love it. I love oh, it. Wow. Yeah. So that was your favourite moment in the entirety of the year, was turning no. into an owl. Yep, just turning into an owl. That's 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 just it. But I'm just so happy. It was amazing. So Jack, fair enough. What was yours, may I ask? <clears throat> My favourite gaming moment of 2012 was the release of the Portal 2 Perpetual Testing DLC. So, this is why I'm a bit of an indifference to you. I'm not a big Portal 2 guy. It's See, just... I, I like the campaign and everything, and then once you've done the co-op, there's nothing left to do. Well, that, I, I'm fine with that. Yeah, but it's really good fun doing the campaign and doing the puzzles and stuff. So now that they've basically done an infinite number of puzzles, it's awesome, and you can create your own. True. That is a, a, essentially the equivalent of uh, the creation kit for Skyrim. Yeah, exactly. Which I've just gone crazy with. You had the amount of times I've seen you on that thing. <laughs> Crabby95 is now playing Creation Kit. Oh, it's ridiculous. I, I love it though, it's so amazing. Creating, I remember creating a chamber for Elliot, and I'd done those red laser things that kill you when you walk into them. <laughs> but that was that was right above you, and there was a portal surface above that, and right above that, right next to that, sorry, was the exit. Now, I didn't realise you couldn't shoot portals through the red lasers, so Elliot just went straight through that, straight through the exit. Mm. So yeah. But yeah, that was my favourite moment. Mm. So. Yes. All that said and done. We shall move on to the next category. Top five. No, 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 no. no. We have a joint favourite moment for 2012. Don't we? What was that? The mystical game of wonderment appearing on Steam that we found. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Do you want a little drum roll? Yes. <laughs> Hashtag worst drum roll ever. <laughs> oh, I'm in bed on my laptop. It was. Um, yeah. The release of Star Wars Battlefront 2. On, on 
Steam. Steam. Not sure when it was released, but we noticed it this year. We 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 found it. We don't we don't care if it wasn't done this year. It was it was 2012 to us. Yeah. And it was just, it just the... amazing. The amount of hours we've clocked off on that. It's literally like four. Yeah. Amount of four hours. Like, yeah. The thing is, our childhood was that game. It was the best game on PS2. The best. And I literally cried for months when I found out Battlefront 3 got cancelled. Yeah, he literally cried for months. Didn't come into school or anything. My grades just went... <laughs> rock bottom. Yeah. Rock bottom. Yep. Yeah. But then again, when I found when I found Battlefront 2 on Steam, they went straight back up again. It, it, was, it was a happy chap. It's all good. Well, 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 That's our favourite favorite moment. Yeah, actually, one thing I wanted to mention. One thing I didn't really like about that game is it defaulted you into first-person mode. And that was like, what? It just on, happened. On the uh, uh, PC version, yeah. Yeah, I was like, what is this? And you, you know, the thing is, you can't really aim that accurately with it, though. Yeah, so you got to do it in... It's preferred to do it in third-person. Yeah. Just the little gripe we got there. Probably because uh, we've been used to it being third-person on PS2. Yeah. But, you know. You can change it, so. Perfect. Yeah. Even. Right. Now we'll do the top five. Should we do our top five games? We shall. Drum roll, please. Number five. Uh, I've not got the dot notepad. Assassin's Creed 3. Right. This is, this is more of my one, isn't it? Because I've only played, like, one game that was released this year. That's because you buy really old games. No, I'm just catching up on the old games I bought last year. Silly poo. Well, my, my opinion on this, I, Assassin's Creed 3 it was a really, really good game. But, as a fan of the series, I think they dumbed it down a bit. Like, they, um, yeah, for example, the free running, all you had to do is just press RT and, and you can just press forward and you can just free run. I didn't really like that. At all. The combat system, you get, I like it because it's harder, you get used to it. And it's, it's quite fun. Um, one thing that I did miss is like, armor upgrades and stuff like that. You didn't really get much of that in Assassin's Creed 3. There wasn't any at all, particularly. And that was a huge departure from what I've had for the last three games. And I was like, what? That's the best bit. So that, that, that was that. Um, Story-wise, all the Connor stuff was... Vi I think that was really good. But it went back to the old Assassin's Creed 1. Oh, we're going to drag you out the Animus now. Meh. Meh. Although, some of the missions were quite good. Like the one where you went to Abstergo, that was quite good. I'm not, not, I'm not going to spoil anything of... Like what, what you do there, so there's that. Um, I think that sums it up for uh, Assassin's Creed 3. Do you, do you think so? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, That's yeah. Seems pretty summed up to me. Uh, well done. An well done. there, Michael. Did I? Yeah, pretty much. Now on the head. Yeah. Right on the top. Right Huge on big its noggin. Off, right on the, right in the noggin. Whatever it's called. On a, on a actual nail. Yes. Right. Number four. Uh, Dishonored. Again, your one. Okay. Well, yeah, that's because you haven't played any games this year. And if you look in the notepad, it's got a U in Dishonored. Because ah. that's how you spell <laughs> Dishonored. Yes, this is the correct way that anyone will must spell Dishonored. Anyway, yeah. As little as I've played it, as none of you have seen on my Let's Plays. Because <laughs> we're that famous. Because we're that famous. That, um, I'm really enjoying it, but FOV, sort that sort that stuff out. Sort it out. Your hands are too big. That's just really annoying. Oh, so it yeah. blocks up a lot of the... Uh... Yeah, it blocks up like half the screen with your hands. What is the need for that? Are your hands... Keeping the, the not, doing the, not claws. Yeah, they're d doing the Call of Duty thing. Oh, let's take up half the screen by your gun. Yeah. That that sort of annoys me. 
Um, I've only really just got the magic, and I thought I'm not particularly good with burning sword. Oh, hello. Here's some stuff. You can like zip about using your mana. I, I quite like that. Thought it was really good. Um, I've been playing it more stealthy, so I'm I'm really enjoying it so far. Story-wise, I haven't really got into it that much. Uh, I've only really done the first chapter, but so far. The characters are really interesting, I'll give you that. Like, the main villain dude is pretty evil. Pretty evil. Would you say? Not a very happy chappy. Oh no, not at all. I think that sums it up for Dishonored. Do you think not? Yes, yeah. yes, a good good summation. Good summation. Yes. Right. Drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh That's a drum roll. I, I, I don't want to take that as a drum roll though. Right, fair enough, right. Number three is faster than light. Right, Jack has never played this thing. I've been told to, but I just can't be bothered. I don't have the time Matt really. Matt have just been so am amazed by this. It's so addictive though. It's like when you die. Oh, I wanna start again! It's, I, I, I barely got it. I sort of know how to play it. I only got it recently. I was, oh yeah, so I'm a bit late on Because Matt was nagging you in form. Y yeah, but it's <laughs> good. I don't. I know, I should get it. Do it, buy it now. Now. Buy it now. Live but, on. But my debit card's in the other room. You can wait. I have to move for that. Yes. We can wait. Right. Number two. <laughs> Old uh, Michael. Yeah, n number two. Actually something that Jack can talk about. Yes. Now, this game didn't come out this year, but we played it this year. Yeah, so, we say, so oh. we're saying it's this year. It came out December, late December 2011. So, you know. That's Close enough yeah. to 2012. You have to have played it into 2012 to get a proper feel of the game anyway. Which I didn't quite have. But, you know, I only got to, like, what, level 7? It was Star Wars The Old Republic. Right, now, I've played a hell of a lot more than Jack has of this game. Yeah, and so obviously my opinion's going to be much better. So. Right, Jack, let's, let's have your opinion. You haven't really talked much right. on this. I think I'll, I'll say the good things, because we'll say the bad things for later on in the in the show. We've got... I liked, I really did like the story. The story was, like, the way they did it, where you had the sort of cinematics, a bit like in Skyrim. It yeah. Was, it was very, very gripping. I really liked the story. I didn't like the way that you killed the uh, guy, though. That, uh, oh, oh, there's nothing that, that. that we all wanted to save. You killed him. You and your fat red fitness. You, I don't know why I remember that. That's one of the only things I remember from that game. Well, which is my character. It's just the fat redness. Oh, yeah. And the Mohican. I remember playing as, um... A what they? You know... The, the tentacle head people. Was it Twi'lek or something like that? Yeah, Twi'lek, that's it. I played as one of them. They were pretty fun. I liked the Jedi. It's just, I never really got gripped by the game. Well, this is where I differ. Well, I, I really got gripped by the Sith Inquisitor story. And I only really stopped playing it, just really because I just got bored of it. Yeah, I was like, it, yeah, I'm, you're I'm bored very quickly. It is the same, isn't it? The only thing you play for is the story. Yeah, and, and it, the, sto the story was really, really good. I, I to this day, I haven't done it. <laughs> I have, I, I have no intentions of completing it because of what Bioware have done is just silly. What have they done? Well, basically, they've. You know, with most free-to-play models, you pay and you get more, right? Yeah. If you don't pl pay for the game, you get less. And that sort of annoys me, because they restrict you on how many action bars you can have. Really? Yeah. So it basically... That's, that's terrible. Past... Taking a mechanic out of the game for the non yeah, it, It's past level 30, you can barely play the game. That's not very good at all. And I didn't particularly like that one bit. Because you've been playing a lot of 
tour free to play, haven't you? Not really. I played a you played a I bit. Played, I played a bit recently. I did like the Jedi Knight storyline, like first zone, whatever it was. Jedi Knight one. I liked that one. Yeah, it was, it was a half decent story, but. My favourite, my favourite point in that game was when I was playing my Inquisitor, because I just go around shooting lightning at people and shouting unlimited power. Yeah, and um, you went a bit overboard on your unlimited. Oh, power, didn't you? Oh yes. And uh, one of the best memories that I have of playing that game, I think it was on. Um, it wasn't Curacao. It was. What's the planet that gets blown up in the? F oh. uh, the first Star Wars. Alderaan, you should know that. Oh, right, anyway. Call I'll, yourself I'll... a Star Wars fan. Hey, I'm half zombie this morning. Shh. Shh. Fair enough. He, he got up like half an hour ago. Yeah, let's, yeah, yeah, let's say that. And I've been up uh, for almost three hours. <laughs> yeah, so Jack has... He's sort of awake. Anyway, I, I, I walk, walk into this cutscene with this dude. So the guy I'm supposed to, like, apprehend like take back I walk in there first option I do is shoot him with lightning I was so happy it's the best thing. it's the best thing ever whenever whenever if, when, if you play Sith Inquisitor whenever you get a choice to shoot people with lightning you shoot people with lightning <laughs> because the satisfaction of shooting people with lightning is just, oh, amazing ah oh. I think that's all we have to really say about that one. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah, good game. Good game, very enjoyable, story-wise. Okay, and number one. Big number drum one. Roll. Can't be bothered with the drum roll. I'll do it with my derpy... Um, um, your space bar. Space bar. <laughs> <laughs> my infamous space bar. Your broken space bar. It is the best space bar of all the space bars. It doesn't uh, work if you press it on the left-hand side. Yeah, you have to press it directly in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the top game is Lego Guild Wars 2. Dos. Dos. Zwei. Zwei. I don't know any other numbers, languages. Two. Yeah. Done that one. Anyway, yes, Guild Wars 2. The combat system in that game. I loved it. Loved it. I and liked I how you could... It was kind of swings and roundabouts for me though. I liked how you could just press it and it would do the attack. But I didn't like how it would do the attack in the sense that you wouldn't know whether you were in range of something. Well, you would because your icon would turn red. Yeah, but it, was hard. it wasn't that noticeable. And I just, I don't look at my icons. I look at the world around me. I, used the, I just pressed the hotkeys. So I pressed like... I don't know what was that? I was uh, was an engineer for quite a while. I pressed two, and that would do whatever it was, and it just it would shoot it, and the cooldown would go. It was like the t twenty second cooldown, and I wouldn't have hit him. It was annoying, because it's probably because I'm so used to the way WoW does it. Yeah, that that was the thing is that was a big breaker for me because the questing. It was smoke and mirrors, wasn't it? Let's be honest. What, in, in Guild Wars? In the sense that they did it, because they claimed it was revolutionary. Yeah. In some, in some areas it was. In, a, I think, one area that it changes, and that's about it. Should we go through what we thought the dynamic questing was? Yes, we should go, we should go through it. Right. In my opinion, the dynamic questing is before about... It came out before we played it and experienced it. We, we thought it was like loads of different quests throughout the zone or events throughout the zone that change dynamically depending on what's happening whether how many players have affected it yeah yeah in reality what we did see there was about 12 or 13 events per zone this was my big biggest gripe throughout the game there wasn't enough events and you'd end up going to a different zone just to be able to level to the events in your zone he was perpetually under level for everything. So, you know, I didn't really have this problem because I only got to level 12. Whereas I got to, like, I think level 27 or something like that. And I I just couldn't take any more of it. I just couldn't. Just, uh, not for me. It wasn't for me. 
Although the story, as many people say, I've heard old stories and they're interesting. The thief one is quite interesting. The uh, the engineer one's pretty good. Yeah, that thing is that was the only thing that kept me going. For yeah, game. story is what you. This this is also my most disappointing moment of 2012. The way that Guild Wars 2, it wasn't it wasn't social. Like you didn't have to be in a group. You didn't have to talk to anyone to get the credit. Like in WoW, if you want to. If you've got to do a group quest, you have to find a group, three or four other people, to help you do it. And you then get the credit for doing it. Killing the boss, killing 20 people, whatever. In Guild Wars, all you have to do is turn up and other people will be there. You could solo almost anything in Guild Wars. Well, that, At least that, as much that, to that, that, that was the strength of it, though. Yeah, but it's, not, it's, it's an MMO, but it's, it's not really multiplayer. It's just a lot of people playing it. It's not you don't you don't socialize with people. That's what I liked about. It's like, wow. Because... Yeah, true. So, I, um, the guild the guild seemed quite interesting on uh, Guild Wars Two. Never experienced the guilds. Oh, where you could be members of loads of different guilds, but you could you could represent only one. Oh right. So like you know where you have the little thing above your head saying what guild you're in. Yeah, you can only have like you can only have one of those above your head. I I really like that. To be honest. Yeah, that's that's quite cool. So you can have benefits from being in different, or you can talk to different guilds. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's the thing. You got you got to be in a guild to be able to communicate with people, or to need to communicate with people. In WoW, you just need to talk to someone next to you. Like, oh yeah, do you wanna do you wanna group up, do a couple of quests together? Because then you can, then you're not fighting over mobs, you're not fighting yeah. over loot or anything. You share the kills, you share the loot, you share everything. Whereas in Guild Wars, everything is your own anyway. I, yeah, I, I would wholeheartedly, I wholeheartedly agree with you on that one. Yeah, and the dynamic, dynamic questing was quite. Annoying. I thought that say you've got in the human one, I think they're they're rivals of the centaurs, aren't they? Yeah. Say you've got a centaur town at one end of the map, and the human town at the other end of the map. And in the middle, there's like a, a ruined town that keeps getting overtaken. And it's like a sort of like a, a track between the two where if nobody helps, none of the players help. The centaurs will slowly push towards the human town. And there are like there are little battles. And if they win one battle, they'll move forwards. But the centaurs forward. are by default more powerful than the humans. But yeah. if the humans have player help, they will be able yeah, to they're... push the centaurs back. And so every time the centaurs have a stronghold, the quests from that point are not available. But if the humans take it over, you then unlock more quests. I thought yeah. that's what it was. That's what gripped me about this game. Huge disappointment not to have been. Yeah, like, well, the thing, the thing is, me, me, me and Jack have talked about this must be tens of times. The way that if, if you can improve Guild Wars 2 questing, have quest hubs. Yeah, like in WoW, don't just turn up to an area and know what to do. Yeah, or well, it's just ha have the events that are already there. Just have about half, like 50% more of them per zone. Yeah? Make make them last a bit longer as well. Yeah, do 50% of them when more in, in each zone and add some WoW style quests as yeah, well. So, so you turn up to like a mill and you've got to harvest loads of crops. Ooh, uh. Ooh, you got to harvest crops and and, <laughs> and you gotta and you gotta like kill some pests or whatever. But you gotta do loads of those. Or you've gotta do a certain amount, but you can't do it that frequently. But there's a quest hub by the mill, you do loads of quests there. And in doing those quests You would it would you then rest can complete the event. Yeah, the main event, which will give you loads of XP, loads of money. But would take you ages to do by itself. Yeah. So you've got this one event that everyone's helping towards, blah, 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 blah. And you're doing all the separate quests. You just need quest hubs, basically. Yeah, Makes that, it that, so much that would definitely be something that I would be quite happy with. They tried to do that with the scouts, but it didn't really the work. Thing, it just showed the, exactly scouts, the, go. the scouts shows you where the things were. Yeah, and that was the scout itself was kind of like a multi-quest NPC. But you didn't have to turn it in or anything. You just yeah. turn up and complete them. Which is that was my key, my biggest disliking biggest. of this game. Didn't really 
yeah. Didn't so, really get you know, to grips with it. So we've went and gone back to WoW. So yeah, that's our summation for uh, 2012. Our uh, 2012, it was. It did get a bit cynical towards the end, a bit. Yes. Uh, yeah, we kind of uh, uh, point out the flaws. So yeah, quick quick sum up again. Top five: Guild Wars, two Star Wars: The Old Republic, Faster Than Light, Dishonored, Assassin's Creed Three. Favorite moment for me was the perpetual testing DLC in Portal. Favorite moment for Michael was the owl turning into thingy from Guild Wars. Yes. And your most disappointing moment was Dawn Guards, and mine was the lack of just the, the not as grippiness of. As it should have been Guild Wars 2 and Tor. So, yeah. Good day, sirs. Yes, good day. We hope you enjoyed this. And uh, have slaved many an hour, perhaps. Yes, it's been almost that, hasn't it? Yes. Well, more like 40 minutes, probably. Meh. Close enough to an hour. Anyway, yes. Two little people of beans. Good day. Good day. Yep. Hurrah. So long. Farewell. How feed is in goodbye. And then the Christmas music will slowly get louder. Oh yes. <laughs>